This is a Smurfs hat. I just, I just feel like I should point that out right now. Hey Spuds, how's it going? It's Jamie, welcome back to another video. Or your first video, I don't know if you've watched me before, that sounded weird, but welcome. Either way, I hope you're gonna enjoy this video and I really appreciate you being here. As you might have guessed from the title, not that I know what the title is gonna be right now. I normally plan these things in advance, but I'm not sure about this one. But in short, I found an Instagram page that was about hetero cringe cringe of heterosexual people. And just to point out right now, to avoid any confusion, this is not all heterosexual people, this is just specific people. You know, it's the difference between like straight people and the straights. We're just gonna be going through this Insta page. I don't know what I'm gonna come across. I hope it's funny. But before we get into today's video and all of the cringy stuff, I want to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor, ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is a VPN service, a virtual private network offering you internet security, privacy, and content unblocking. So in terms of keeping nice and secure on the internet, are you aware that every time you use an unencrypted network like at a cafe or a restaurant or even in your own home, you are at risk. At risk of your private internet information being stolen. But what ExpressVPN does is it encrypts your internet connection to prevent this interception from happening, keeping all of your internet stuff nice and secure and safe. ExpressVPN also unlocks this wonderful buffet of virtual entertainment and streaming services by unlocking things on streaming services that may not be available in your country. ExpressVPN allows you to reroute your connection to a server in a country of your choice. So for me, if I want to watch Vikings on Netflix, I can't in the UK, but with ExpressVPN, I can connect to a server in Canada, and ta-da, Vikings. If this all sounds good to you, then click on the link in the description to find out how you can get three months free, or go to expressvpn.com forward slash jamming dodger. Thank you very much for listening. Now it's time for the cringe. <laughs> Femininity tip. Touch objects and really sense what you're feeling. This helps you connect with your feminine energy, which is very attractive to a man. Okay, <laughs> what is very attractive to a man is being in touch with your feminine energy and you must be feminine and women need to do everything possible to be as attractive as possible to men. And in order to do that, you must touch stuff. <laughs> but men, don't you touch stuff. What does this even mean? How to be feminine 101. Touch things. I want our relationship to be like Tom and Jerry. No matter how much we fight, we won't be apart. No. No matter how much we fight, we won't be apart. I don't, I don't, I don't think that Tom and Jerry should be used as the epitome of what you want in a relationship. I'm pretty sure that they dislike each other. It's like saying, I don't care how much we fight or how you treat me, but at least we'll always be together. That's not very healthy. No. If you're gonna make love with the person whom you love so much, do it wearing the safest thing. What's the safest thing? The wedding ring. Who knew? The greatest contraception of all time, the greatest thing to protect you from STDs, a wedding ring. Please don't take that advice. Being married does not prevent unsafe or unwanted things to happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, brains. We've got a penis brain and a heart brain. Slugs and, sna slugs and snails. Sl Who has a whole portion of their brain devoted to slugs and snails? Sport. Ego. Analytic. Visual. Aggression. <laughs> Nature. Just just, oh, nature, sex. This is very, very inaccurate. The other one we have is sugar, sugar, spice. Okay, sugar, spice, nice. <laughs> Attention, ego, selfless. What does that say? Fidelity, nurture, compassion, compassion, compassion. And what's that? Ha housework, of course. You can't have a heart-shaped brain unless you do a bit of housework. <sighs> Do people actually think that this is accurate? Not the shape of the brain, that would shock me a lot, but like the contents of the brain, do people really, really, really think that? A guy saw me changing my tire today and then came over, grabbed everything and finished changing it. After he was done, I said, thank you. And he replied, a lady should know how to change a tire, but a lady shouldn't have to change a tire. That's what being a gentleman means. So women should know how to do things but they're not allowed to do them because men should be doing the actions. The women know how to do it, but no, they, they shouldn't. Too, too, not for them, no. The man must do it. What if he doesn't know how? <laughs> just botch it. That's the gentlemanly thing to do. Oh no, that's just so patronizing. Ugh. The perfect couple. He is tall, she is short. Ugh. He is silent, 
She is talkative. He is matured. She is childish. He creates memories. She captures them. So in a relationship, women are supposed to be short, chatty, childish photographers. And men are just silent, tall, and mature like a good cheddar cheese. Okay. <sighs> women fall in love by what they hear. Men fall in love by what they see. That's why women wear makeup and men lie. No. Oh dear God. Why is there just a photo above that of smiling Idris Elba? That just doesn't make sense. That so much of this is just so unhealthy. A father carries the responsibilities of his child for the lifetime. Well, that other one was wrong, isn't it? Men don't have penis-shaped brains. They have wombs in their heads. Where's the baby come out of? Your ear. Left or right. And that's like saying that as soon as the baby is born, taking a cishet couple here, right? As soon as the woman gives birth to the baby, she no longer gives a shit about the responsibility. That's all the man's job. <laughs> the baby comes straight out and goes into his brain. A real woman always keeps her house clean and organized. She's always well-dressed and hair done. She behaves gracefully in all situations and circumstances. And no matter what, she never sweats. She has more than enough patience to take care of her family, always has a smile on her lips, and a kind word for everyone. Share this if you too have just realised that you might be a man. <laughs> this one's a joke. <laughs> Had me in the first half, not gonna lie. Gay test. If you see Spider-Man, I've got bad news for you. What's the bad news? What, are you implying it's bad to be gay? Uh, what if a woman is looking at that shirt and sees the boobs and not Spider-Man? There's a lot of assumptions being made there. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, dear God. Oh. Oh. Um, is that like the new way of holding hands? Making the pinky toes kiss. <laughs> why, why is, why, why? I need me a girlfriend that understands that I'm single but she's not. But then you don't have a girlfriend. It doesn't work like that. If you meet a girl that admits she's wrong, apologizes and changes her ways, dump her because that might be a man. Women don't do that. <laughs> the things that constitute whether you're a man or a woman are really strange. If you admit you're wrong and you apologize, then you're a man. No. Wishing well, please, wishing well, make me impossible for men to resist. A car. A, sp a, sport a sports car. A car. A car. It's a car. It's all about making yourself into a transformer. I'm so done. <laughs> that's all I can handle. And yeah, that's everything for today. Wasn't that wonderfully cringy and just slightly filled with despair now? <laughs> I'm really- do you know, I'm just hoping that most of those were a joke. All of them were a joke. It's cool. This is really hilariously funny. What? Good banter we've all had today, lovely. <laughs> yeah, if you like this video, think about giving it a thumbs up and subscribing, or maybe just do that because of Smurfette, I don't know. But yeah, as always, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Much love, bye. Hopefully by the next video, I'll be over this one. <laughs> see ya.